Kitchen, my name is Tusi. What I'm making for you today is melon mix with vegetable, which is popularly known as a and MC. So let's get started. For this, I'm going to use a red bell pepper. I'm going to use two of that, three tomato, three habanero, onion, red palm oil, locust bean, which is known as iru, salt, maggi, my chopped meat, my homemade chicken stock, crayfish. And I have two cups of brand melon. This is the old seed, and this is the outcome of the brand one. And I have my spinach here. You can use cola grain, kale, bitter leaf, or any green leaf which you like. The first thing which I'm going to do is to brand my pepper. My pepper is already here. I did not make it very smooth. So I have around three quarter cup of palm oil, and my stove is on. You don't need to bleach the whole, just add a little onion to it. And I have my local seed here. Right? And my pepper goes in next. Right? I have two cubes of maggi which I'm going to use. In making your vegetable and melon, you don't need anything like curry, thyme, tomato sauce, tomato paste. You don't need any of those. Then I'm going to add my homemade chicken stock. I use one cup. And for my crayfish, I'm going to soak it with hot water so it can soften it and it can get soaked in the sauce. So I add a little salt to it and leave it for some minutes. Probably around five to seven minutes, I'm going to leave it like that. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the sauce to get to know each other to cook for a little while. The sauce has been cooking for a total of 40 minutes. Let me remove all this. I cannot taste. The reason why I did not have salt the other time is because of the chicken stock. So I'm not going to add a little more salt. So the next thing which I'm going to do, I have two cups of already ground melon in here. I'm going to start with one quarter of a cup. This is one quarter of a cup in two cups of melon. You can grind the melon yourself with a new coffee maker. You don't want to use a used coffee maker. You don't want your coffee, you don't want your melon to taste like coffee or to smell like coffee. So if you want to uh, grind it yourself, get a new coffee maker. You can use that to grind your spice, your crayfish, your melon. So the next thing I'm going to use my spatula to make a ball. This one, just scoop it gently. There's another one. It's going to make around five to six balls. When you are mixing the melon with the water, make sure you don't have too much water or else it's not going to make the ball. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium, between medium, low or medium. Cover it. 
and I'll come back to check on it. So this is the outcome after five minutes that I've added the melon ball. Stir gently because I don't want it to get mushy. I'm going to cover it back and let it continue. So the sauce has been cooking for a total of 25 minutes. And the next thing I'm going to do again is gently stir. You can see how big the ball is now. So the next thing you can do now is cut the ball to the size which you want the melon to be. If you want it to be, you can just cut each ball to like three seconds three different sizes or smaller or bigger it now depends on you and I will taste again mm. it needs a little more salt To stir again, you can see how big the melon balls are. If you want to cut it, you can see cut it, and if you want to leave it, you can just leave it like that. frozen spinach like I've said earlier on you can use collard green kale bitter leaf and you can use fresh vegetable fresh spinach whatever type of vegetable you are comfortable using and you can even That's leave good. the melon like that so it depends on you so you can see the size of the ball. So the size of the vegetable we are going to have depends on you. Depends on how you want vegetable to be there. I will reduce the heat. The heat is now in low heat. So I'm going to add a little more vegetable. the vegetable I'm just going to leave for like three between three and four minutes because the vegetable is a frozen vegetable but if you're adding a fresh vegetable is going to you are going to leave it for a little longer than four to five minutes Give it the final taste that is delicious and the stove is off now and it's ready this is a beautiful outcome of melon mixed with vegetable thanks for watching hope to see you next time and i wish you happy cooking from my kitchen tales bye